Ever wonder how health teams stop outbreaks before they explode? It's called contact tracing, and it's simpler than it sounds. Think of a disease like a chain of handshakes. Contact tracing finds the links, fast, so we can break it. When someone tests positive for a contagious disease, trained public health workers reach out, ask who they've been close to, and quietly alert those people to test, isolate if needed, and stop the spread. It catches infections early, before symptoms peak. It protects your family. It protects co-workers. It protects vulnerable people. It keeps schools, offices, and events open by targeting risk, not shutting everything down. How it works, step by step. 1. Case interview. A polite, confidential call. Confirm the positive test. Ask about recent places and close contacts. Housemates, lunch buddies, carpool partners. 2. Contact list. We note names, phone numbers, and the date and time of exposure. No private gossip, just practical details. 3. Notification. Contacts get a heads up, usually without naming you. The message, you were exposed on this date. Here's what to do. Test now or on a specific day. Wear a mask if advised. Monitor symptoms. If high risk, call your doctor. 4. Follow-up. Short check-ins to be sure people are okay and know when it's safe to return to normal. Digital tools can help. Privacy-preserving apps, QR check-ins at venues, and secure text checklists. These don't track your location, just speed up alerts. A quick example. After a weekend wedding, three guests feel sick on Tuesday. One tests positive. I call her. We map the timeline. Mendy night, table seating, photo booth, the car ride. I notify six close contacts. Two test positive early and isolate. Caterer screens staff. One stays home and gets treated. Result, the cluster stops at five, not 50. Is it private? Yes. Your name isn't shared with contacts. Data is minimal and time limited. Do I have to talk? It's voluntary, but every detail helps protect your circle. Forgot details? No stress, we jog memories with simple prompts. Bottom line, contact tracing is community care. Pick up that call or reply to that text to cut the chain. Quick test, quick action, quick recovery. That's how we stop outbreaks together. Stay informed, stay kind, save the next handshake.